Hi, my name is Max and I'd like to show you the first Huawei Mobile LTE hotspot with touchscreen which costs about 200 euros in Europe. It's available in black and white colors and it has an LTE CAT6 modem for a maximum speed of about 300 megabits in downlink and 50 megabits in uplink. It also supports 3G and um, 2G, 3G up to 42 megabits with DC HSPA+. Yeah, this is the box of the device, the blue box, and um, as you can see, these are the parts that are included in the box. We have a wall charger here in the UK version, but of course there are also available other versions of the wall charger. We have a um, USB to micro USB cable for data connection and for charging of course. Um, we have the battery which is in a 3000 mAh uh, battery um, and you can exchange the battery as you can see. We have the device itself, the white version and we have a quick start guide and safety information. There is also a small lanyard which can be connected to the device um, on this side. There are different regional versions of the Huawei E5787. Um, I have the European version which is the E5787S33A and um, the difference between the versions are the supported frequency bands. So this version works mostly in Europe with uh, European operators, but you can also use it in um, North America and Asia, but not on all operators there. So if you are in Asia or in North America, I think you will need a different version than the S33A and maybe you should compare the frequency bands um, with your local provider. The battery can be exchanged as I said, you have to um, remove the back cover and you can see the um, back side of the device. There is a micro SIM card slot. You can also use nano SIM like I do with an adapter. So you can open this and put your card in. On the E5787 there is no micro SD card slot so you can't use a micro SD card. On the top of the device we have the power button. Um, with a long press we will start the device. We have a big touch screen display on the front, um, no buttons on the front and um, no LED. It's a color display but the quality is not that good. There are lots of reflections as you can see. Um, on the side of the device we have a micro USB port for charging and connecting to the PC or Mac and then we have um, two antenna connectors for a cellular connection or improvement of the internet speed but not for Wi-Fi connection. The ports are TS9 connectors so with an external antenna like I have here you can um, connect both car both cables and um, use MIMO LTE speeds. The software is very fast and the display is responsive. Um, the menu is simple I think. You can um, use it like a smartphone. Um, no problems even for people that are not used to this type of devices. The configuration is via touchscreen, browser web interface or a Huawei Highlink app. In the software you can change things like connection settings APN, um, you can set the device on 4G only. If you have a bad 4G reception, you can do it on 4G only. You have Wi Fi settings, of course, you can change the Wi Fi name, Wi Fi password, and you have the option for over the air firmware updates. The integrated Wi Fi works in 2.4 or 5 GHz. Um, it supports AC Wi Fi up to 768 megabits and um, you can connect maximum of 10 devices at the same time. What's missing is a uh, Wi-Fi extender feature compared to the older E5786 uh, which had this feature. 
so you can't extend Wi-Fi networks with this device. All in all, um, the E5787 is a very good mobile hotspot, I think. Um, the touchscreen is a nice upgrade over other hotspots and it's very simple to use it. Compared to the E5786, um, we have the exchangeable battery, which is good, but uh, the missing Wi-Fi extender is not that good, I think. So if you have the chance to buy that uh, hotspot, I think it's a good choice.